Second though, stirring the mail. You look young again. Yeah. It's gone now. You better be old self. Man, if you don't shut up and leave me alone. Mm-hmm. First thing a man ought to learn is not to make love to no color woman first thing in the morning. Y'all some evil folks at 8 o'clock in the morning. How come you always trying to be so pleasant? What's that be pleasant about? You wanna know what I was thinking about in the bathroom this morning or not? I know what you was thinking about. What me and Willie Harris was talking about last night. Willie Harris is a good for nothing loud. Why all my friends gotta be good for nothing loud now? And what you know about a good for nothing loud now? Charlie Atkins was a good for nothing loud now when he wanted me to join the drop in business with him. And now look at him. Grossing over a hundred thousand a year. A hundred thousand dollars a year. And you call him a good for nothing loud now. Oh, Walter Lee. You're tired, ain't you? Tired of everything. Me, the boy, the way we live, this beautiful hole, everything, huh? Just walking around here moaning and groaning. But you wouldn't do nothing to help us out, could you? You couldn't be on my side for long, could you? Oh, Walter, please, leave me alone. But Mama would listen to you. You know she likes you more than she do me and Dean. All you gotta do is, one morning we sit down with her, we just sip your coffee, and Tell her about that deal Walter Lee been so interested in. About the, about the store and everything. You just sip your coffee like, what you saying really ain't all that important. And she be listening and asking you questions, and then when I come home, I could just fill her in on all the details. This ain't no fly-by-night proposition, baby. You got this thing figured out. Me, Willie, and Bobo. Bobo? Yeah. You know this little liquor store thing you got in mind? We figured it cost about $75,000. So the initial investment be about thirty. So that's $10,000 a piece. Of course, you gotta pay a couple extra money so that people will make sure you get your license approved. You mean grab? Call it that. See, that just goes to show you what women know about the world. Don't nothing happen in the world unless you pay somebody off, baby. Walter, that ain't none of our money. Eat your eggs, they're gonna be cold. That's it, huh? There it is. Eat your eggs. Man said to his woman, I got a dream, baby. Woman said, eat your 
head. Man say, I got to take hold of this world, baby. Woman say, eat your eggs and go to work. Man say, I got to change my life. I'm choking to death. Woman say, your eggs is getting cold. Walter, eat your eggs. Woman say, eat your eggs. Damn all the eggs that ever was. Then go to work. See, I'm sitting here trying to tell you about myself, and all you got to say is, eat your eggs. Honey, you never say anything new. I listen to you every day and every night, and you never say nothing new. So, you'd rather be Mr. Arnold than his chauffeur, and I'd rather be living in Buckingham Palace. Mm -hmm. That's what's wrong with women in the world today. Don't know how to build a man up, make him feel special. Like they can be somebody. Like they can do something. There's black men who do things. Not no offense to no color woman. Well, I guess being a color woman, I can't help myself none. Mm -hmm. We just one group of men tied to a race of women with small minds. See? <laughs> so what? What do I? That was the best. Oh, oh my God. God. You guys did it. I know, man. I thought I did so good. I forgot one more. Thanks, Jesus. Okay. Now, the you feel that you guys are going to be on? Nervous? Yeah. I felt better once we started doing it. I felt like yeah. it was easier. Yeah, once we started, I felt more in character, and they were just like, okay, cool, I could. I don't know.